Thanks to all. Today I will be presenting a talk on why I think my province is a special place. And I have titled my talk, My World, My Livelihood, My Niche, which is Kuzulu Natal. We of course exist in a country that is very diverse, geologically and with the ecology as well. But the Kuzulu Natal province stands out, which is why it is known as the Garden Province. Within this Garbin province, we have two World Heritage Sites. The one is Isimangaliso Wetland Park, and the second is Ukatlamba Dragonsburg Park. Both of these have wetlands that have been Ramsar accredited, which means that these wetlands have to be conserved as they have a global, they have a global role to play. As I've mentioned with the Dragonsburg and Isimangaliso, this means that within the Kuzulu-Natal province, we have very varying geological makeup with, with three main parts, which is the lowlands, the midlands where I'm presenting from, and the berg. The lowlands where, where you is where you get your coastal areas with the coral reefs, your sand dunes, and your sand dune bushes or forests. As you move towards the inland, you will start to get your savanna biomes, your moist savanna biomes. And as you move higher up, you will get your alpine grassland, which is very diverse. And that is where a certain species of birds can only be found. The climate um, can sometimes be influenced by the sort of geology that we have in our, in our country and the province. With the coastal areas, the, the ocean acts as a, a regulatory uh, body as this has the effect of regulating the temperatures both in winter and in summer, which is why if in winter it doesn't get too cold and in summer it doesn't get too hot. However, when you move mid towards the Midlands, it starts, the temperature starts to, start to rise and the the, in winter, the, the temperature starts to fall. How, and furthermore, inland, which is your bird, it gets colder in winter and at night and extremely hot during the summer days. It is not only about the biodiversity or the geology or the climate. KwaZulu Natal also has a great culture which which features through the Zulu people, the Indian people, and not just that, but we have very, very important buildings, such as the City Hall of Peter Maritzburg, which is the biggest red brick building in the Southern Hemisphere, which forms part of the culture of KwaZulu Natal. We also have certain important statues, like the Queen of Victoria, Sir Theophilus, which form part of our culture as Kuzumi Natal people. Of course, the Indian culture is colorful and spicy, but towards the Zulu culture, we have our rickshaw in Durban and a ver various cultural villages across the, the province. What, what more does one need? And with that, I say thank you with the Garden Province.